one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, Patty Smith. I awoke early, and as I descended the stairs, I knew that he was dead. All was still save the sound of the television that had been left on in the night. An arts channel was on, an opera was playing. I was drawn to the screen as Tosca declared with power and sorrow her passion for the painter Cappadocia. Such beautiful words, especially by Maria Callas. I have lived for, lo for love, for art. I have never hurt a single soul, uh, so why must I suffer? Providence had, uh, had uh, decided, discerned what I would be listening to at that moment, and it was that aria, I have lived for love, for art. I was a wing. The reason I, I called the book Just Kids was because we were. It is a book, obviously, about, about him and your relationship with him, but it's also a lyrical poem in some way to a, a bygone New York. When I came to New York City, you could walk everywhere. It seemed so safe. The Empire State Building, which is, was to me like... Uh, you know, it was like God's hypodermic needle. You know, it was just like so beautiful. I just, I just felt possibilities. I was living in the bathroom of the bookstore. So anyway, there was this guy lurking around. He wanted to take me out for dinner, but I was so hungry, uh, I decided to accept his invitation. And we went to Tompkins Square Park, and uh, I was getting really petrified, I thought. Because I had nowhere to go. I didn't live anywhere. And I was so scared. And then he said, you know, I live right up there. I was like terrified. And I'm thinking, how do I get out of this situation? And just as I was sitting there trying to figure it out, as if the angels had, had opened a portal, here I look and here's this boy who I'd already met once or twice, but didn't even know his name, coming up toward me and I ran up to him and I said uh, do you remember me and he said yeah I said will you pretend you're my boyfriend and he said sure so I bring him over to the science fiction writer and I said uh, uh, this is my boyfriend he's really mad he's really mad uh, because you know I, I went to dinner with you and uh, he wants me to go home now and the guy's looking at me and I said uh, to the boy run <laughs> so he grabbed my hand and we ran we ran right across Tompkins Square Park and then we found a stoop and we sat on the stoop and I said thank you you saved my life and then I said um, my name is Patty and he said oh well my name's Bob and I looked at him I said you know you don't seem like a Bob to me is it okay if I call you Robert and forever after, he was Robert. He's still right with me. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Betty Smith.